would like to now actually bring in Paul Moira. He's a journalist and filmmaker at Premier Lean Production Company. For our viewers who are joining us now, we are covering the attack that took place earlier today near the former headquarters of Charlie Hebdo here in Paris, the 11th arrondissement. Now, uh, Paul, who's joining us, uh, I believe by telephone or Skype, I'm not certain, uh, was actually able to, from the rooftop, capture uh, the moment the attack took place. Thank you so much for being with us. Some of your colleagues involved in that attack, Paul. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the two wounded uh, are from uh, our team, uh, two producers, uh, a girl and a man. Um, so far, they have, the information we have is that their lives are out of danger, which is uh, the most important for us, of course. They have been uh, very seriously wounded with a, with a knife, not a knife, really, like kind of an axe. Uh, butcher's axe. And um, what we know so far is that the guy who committed uh, the perpetrator, perpetrator has been uh, arrested. He's being interrogated by by police. Indeed. And, uh, yeah. Go uh, ahead. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. I thought you'd, you'd finish there. Uh, uh, how are you feeling? How are your colleagues feeling, given that it is possible, and we're still waiting for confirmation at this stage, that it was the former officers of Charlie Hebdo that were actually targeted, but it was it were your colleagues that were, and I hate to use this expression, but they see, appear to have been caught in the crossfire. Yeah, I mean, we, we don't know exactly who was uh, targeted. We suppose, because there's the trial going on right now, and uh, repeatedly uh, the, the news channels have been showing uh, pictures of the former building of Charlie Hebdo, and, uh, you know, uh, somehow this building became like a symbol of, uh, of uh, really, of... of Freedom of expression and uh, and uh, crazy kid because from what we know is a very young man who committed this crime this morning for him he was he was I think attacking a place that is a symbol uh, even though he, he probably knew that Charlie Hebdo is not here anymore and knew that there were some journalists in the building and we we are we are the ones who took the attack suffered the attack. Paul, Paul, you suffered the attack, and I'm sad to say that this is not the first time that you'll witness personally something to, to an incident like this, to an attack like this. You were also witness to the Charlie Hebdo attacks that took place five yes. years ago. Yes. Yes, it's like a very cruel reminder of, uh, of the fact that uh, uh, nothing is settled. And uh, we have to be careful, and uh, this building sh deserves protection from the police. It does not has it, have it, so I think that's something that has to change. It, it does have to change, and do you think that will be the case? Is this something that's, as we speak, um, our, our conversation is being had about that? Because like you mentioned, this has happened previously, it's happened again today, mm -hmm. and still, even though we know that France has been on high terror alert, attacks like this are taking place is it po impossible as we heard from our guests moments ago to prevent something like this because it's happening on mm. such a small scale potentially mm. two people involved two attackers with knives mm -hmm. yeah i don't know i know that this building now became became like a sanctuary of, uh, of journalists and a symbol and it certainly has to be protected that's the only thing i can tell you Paul, it's uh, Mark Owen here. I'm Sanam's colleague in the studio. If, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions too. But first of all, Paul, I'd like to say that I, I hope to send our sympathies to, to all of you. Uh, I hope your colleagues are recovering and I hope that this uh, shock one day will be far behind you. But I understand right now, we can hear it in your voice, that things are very sensitive and very difficult mm. for you. Uh, you work for Premier Lean, which is uh, a well-known production company involved in a programme in France called uh, Cash Investigation. Uh, which mm -hmm. is, again, a very watched program. It's, 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 I think it's exceptionally well done, and congratulations on the work that you do. You. Uh, you have done, um, well, documentaries about jihadism, uh, tackling yes. these issues head on. Did you feel that that in any way was linked to what happened today? 
Well, it's, it's just a feeling. Uh, it's not an information, but I, no, I don't think I don't think we were targeted. But then again, you know, this guy is being interrogated, and maybe he will come up with uh, with the fact that we were targeted. We don't really know about it. Yes, we have repeatedly since 2015 done investigative reports about Daesh and and about uh, jihadists, and um, we probably have done them. We are, we are the production company that was the most uh, active on, on this front. Did it play a role somehow? My feeling is no, but, but we don't know yet. Well, Paul, in terms of what happens next with your colleagues, I hope that they recover quickly, and I hope you Thank all you. recover quickly too. Thank you very much indeed, Thank Paul. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sam. Thank you. Paul, thank you so much for being with us.